In today's video, I want to introduce a volume-based indicator on TradingView that helps you to increase your win rate and find the best trading opportunities in the market. To add this amazing indicator to our chart, here we click on Indicators and we search Intraday Intensity Index, this one which is written by someone named Kivank Ozbilgik, if I'm pronouncing his name correctly. All right, this is the indicator. And as you can see, it's in the form of an oscillator with this histogram that is moving above and below the center line, which is zero. This indicator was created by David Bastian and later it was popularized by John Bollinger in his book Bollinger on Bollinger Bands. This indicator is a volume-based indicator and it uses both of price and volume to analyze the supply and demand in the market. It measures buying and selling pressure in a giving trading session and it gives us information about the strength of interest among market participants. The main goal of this indicator is for tracking the activity of institutional traders where high amount of trading volume is building for a specified asset in a given day. This indicator can be used on any time frame despite the name which is intraday intensity index because at first it was created for daily time frame for measuring the intensity of buying and selling pressure during each day so the name was intraday intensity index but if for example we use it on weekly time frame it would be intraweek intensity so a better name for this indicator could be intraperiod intensity index because it can be applied to any time frame like weekly daily four hours one hour and it measures buying and selling pressure during that trading session or time period the calculation is based on subtracting the days high and low from double the closing price and then divided by volume and multiplied by the difference between the high and the low. The result is each of these bars that created this histogram. A high value of intraday intensity shows a higher level of buying or selling pressure. In other words, more active and volatile market and low intraday intensity shows less trading activity and a flatter market during that day. Bars that are above zero are in blue color and they show buying pressure and their sizes show different degree of pressure as I just explained. And the bars that are below zero they show selling pressure and they are in red color with different sizes showing different degree of pressure from what we see from this histogram color changing of the histogram can signal us on the changes in the direction of the market for example when it turns to blue it can be a buy signal and when it turns to red it can be a sell signal but these color changing also happen in the pullbacks which basically they don't provide any good trading opportunities john bollinger suggested using this indicator as a confirmation tool with Bollinger Bands. Let's add Bollinger Bands to our chart to show you how you can use them in conjunction with each other. The way he described for trading based on these two indicators is like this. When the price is tagging the lower band, we must wait for positive value of intraday intensity index. When we get a positive bar, we enter a long position. You can clearly see that as the price was tagging the lower band with increased buying pressure, this indicator is showing us that the selling pressure was becoming weaker and weaker up to this point where it becomes positive and blue so here we can enter a long position and as the price is advancing and tagging the upper band we wait for a negative bar and it gives us the signal to exit our long position so when this red bar is formed we exit our long position and conversely would be for opening and exiting a short position please pay attention that the safest option to do this method is taking the signals in the overall direction of the market because this method is still very very prone to generate false signals in the pullbacks during trends. You can use price action analysis for identifying the overall trend or you can also use some indicators like pivot point super trend. This one which is written by Lonesome the Blue and by the help of this indicator we can identify the overall trend. Since we are on one day time frame we need to increase the length a little bit so the super trend line doesn't change color on the pullbacks. Here for pivot point period we set it at 3 and for ATR factor we set it at 4. Alright, now as you can see it's showing us the overall trend of the market. When it's red the market is in a downtrend and when it's green the market is in an uptrend. And now by knowing the overall direction of the market you know on what signals you should focus. For example here since we are in a downtrend we focus on short position signals and here since we are in an uptrend we focus on long position signals. This indicator is a perfect tool for analyzing the buying and selling pressure based on both of price and volume to identify their changes and to know about the strength of the interest among market participants. As I explained in the video, you should never take your trading decisions only based on this indicator and you must use it with other indicators
factors or alongside with your trading strategy to increase your win rate and find the best trading opportunities in the market. Alright, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and leave a comment for me. I'll answer your questions as soon as possible. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell so you get the notifications of my new videos. See you guys in next video and good luck with your trading.